So go. I'll stick with Byzantines. Yeah. And I will I will leave the decision whether you want to go scouts or archers to you. I found a game. Uh, we're on hideout. A palisade wall provides only false comfort over the palpable feeling of enemy lurking just around the corner. I'm ready. I want to start before Viper comes back. <laughs> I, I should have probably waited the full 30 seconds. But we know to start now. We should be good. We're against Mongols. Is he going to tower rush me? Or is that Age of Empires 4 Mongols only? Aha. Uh -huh. I see we got not Arabia. <laughs> I, uh, I rushed. Okay. So in this map you start pre-walled. You can in theory play it similar to Arabia and just apply pressure with like archers for example. But on these types of maps it is often normal to go fast castle as well. And play more of a boomy or siege monks approach. It is a full wall isn't it? Yes. The middle will but be forest only. In the intro it said um, it's false comfort only the walls. Yeah because they're palisade walls. The normal, like, original map that was like this is called Arena, and there you start with stone walls. I think we're just gonna play uh, normal, Arabia style, and just get the feel of what it would be like to try and pressure an opponent that is actually fully walled. Yep. Because you have two sheep behind the gate on the bottom left. Uh... They're kind of camouflaged behind the gate on the bottom left. Southwest. Oh, yeah. Also, when you want to pressure a guy that is walled, it's often common to send villagers with the army to make a tower. So we, okay. might, we might try that as well. New challenge every game. Yeah, I feel like it would be too, too risky to improvise and teach you a fast castle on the go right now. I can do it. Uh, well, let's let's pressure on the few layers walls. We want to get you an okay. idea of how that feels like. Wrong way. Sorry, so, that's the the thing that I get. Yeah, yeah. So on this map again, it's like the whole middle is just a forest. You can in theory chop through it and meet at some point, uh, but you will be like having to move around the forest in order to uh, get to your opponent. Okay. So many dead sheep. Yeah. Do you wanna? We need to build a house as well. Nice villagers can go on berries. Bottom left. Salve. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, is it best to attack uh, the? Is it best to attack this partition or this partition? Uh, they're both the same. All right. They just look different because it's the last piece. You don't want to fight there because he got the first hit, which means that yeah. he will win that fight. Yeah. So. Oh, this civilization. Yeah, my vision. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So go ahead. So his civilization is Mongols. They have a bonus where they eat hunting, hunted meat very fast. They're not similar to Mongols in AoE 4, where they can move everything around. But they do have access to Mangrai, which is like one of the best units in the game. But that can only be made from the castle. Our, our wow. aim is to not let him get to that position. Don't let him get to castle with Mangrai. Exactly. I think the best for you here is just open archers like we have done in the past and we can apply pressure with that. How do archers do against Mangidai? Uh, against Mangidai in numbers archers will tra trade well. But Mangidai when when Mangidai get like in the high numbers and uh, fully upgraded, Mangidai will melt archers. But, uh, but archers are still a decent unit and will trade okay-ish. Why did he just put his scout on me? Uh, just to take out HP from you, pretty much. He probably because he has... got the first hit, he just wants to do the perma chase. Yeah, yeah. He probably found all his resources already, so he didn't feel like he needs to scout more himself. 
Okay, so what you're doing now with the uh, transition to wood is a completely normal thing. You have the feeling that you might be able to go up at the expected time. So you would. Push I saw villages. one. I saw one villager uh, standing still. Mhm. Mm yeah, he just bugged out a little bit. It happens. Yeah. Old game. Spaghetti code. Yep. Yeah, the transitions onto wood here has been really good actually. Okay. Sometimes when you, if like the opponent could, in theory, we have a term called laming, where which means that you go and steal your opponent's boar with your scout. Oh wow! And in that case, you could not get away with uh, this type of transition that early. Uh, what so what would, transition? Like to wood. Normally, then you would have to keep every villager on food until you are able to click to village. And what am I making with that food? Oh, yeah. What would I be making with that food? Well, you would go to fuelage, like, because you would be missing a boar if you lamed you, right? You would maybe struggle to get enough food to click to fuelage fast enough. Okay, so I would put, like, more on berries? For example, I'm just referring to your that you went for the second lumber camp uh, yeah. fairly early. You have a deer that is quite close to your town, sir. You could maybe take that one. Uh, with uh, uh, my scout, right? No, two villagers could just shoot it and kill it. Just shoot it from that far away? Uh, they will get a little bit closer, but they will shoot it and eat it. It's fine. It's fine to distance eat that. Okay. Okay, we're gonna need to put some bills on gold. The straggler bills are perfect for that. I'll take those two as well. Yeah, indeed. Doesn't it hurt seeing them <laughs> harvest the deer from that far away? No, it's not too bad. Uh, when you're going for a build like this and you're out of sheep on your town center, it's completely fine to do that. If Archers? They... Yeah, we want an archery range. Uh, blacksmith in, uh, yet? I'll do a second range first in this case. Uh, we don't want to do the farm upgrade right now, because we're trying to push our aggression a little bit. Okay. Salve. Kondo. Podio. Can he see this over the wall? Uh, no. Also, when you when you eat deer and hunted meat, they will carry more. So these trips are not as painful as if there was a sheep there, for example. Mm. With sheep, you only carry 10. With deer and boar, you eat or carry 35. Okay, that, that looks familiar. Okay, so we're going to do something here. When, uh, the second we have four archers, yeah. we are going to take four villagers from berries and the four archers and we're gonna go forward or from berries got it yeah you want to make sure we get houses as well we're gonna hear the horrible sound soon oh did you hear it why did it make that sound because you're a population wait, capped wait how much population are archers i uh, one pop but you're making two archers at the them? moment and one villager you're making three and you only had 28 population space it doesn't get added to pop yet? No, it only gets added when it is produced. What? Yeah, I know, it's it's different. That's so also... I got blocked at freaking 28 out of 30. Correct, correct. Okay. Let's, let's go. Choo choo. And this is also the point where you put the gather point of your archery ranges forward, because now we want to reinforce our aggression point. No blacksmith. Uh, you want to add a blacksmith as well, yeah. As soon as you have the wood for that. Right now we have a little bit too few bills on wood. We'll take those okay. deer eaters and just put those on wood now. Mm -hmm. Good. We also make a case for canceling those two archers just to get the blacksmith up and running. Okay. We can do it now. Good. Right, so the gate is actually a good target because it's four tiles. So if you open that, he, you will have a. Uh, it's harder for him to defend it. Okay. It does have a little bit more HP compared to a regular wall. But oh, yeah. once you open it, it's way easier to uh, put the pressure there. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs>
Oh, hi. <laughs> Good luck, have fun. 15 minutes, let's go. <laughs> yes. Right now you're hitting the palisade wall instead of the gate. You yes. want to hit the gate. This is where the villagers could potentially build a tower. But let's try to break the wall first. He is trying to wall behind it with buildings. It's a very common thing to do when you're being pressured. So right now we want to break the gate and then potentially build a tower inside his base. Inside. Yeah. Oh, he's doing, already doing a defensive tower, so we just keep surfing around them. That's, uh, he can only afford one uh, tower without taking more stone. Now you can just keep going around his base and attack from a different angle. Yeah, that gate would be a natural next step. He did go for a fast castle, so he has castle age. But the good thing right now is that he spent stone on towers, so it's unlikely that he can afford a town center right away. Okay. Is that the main reason for fast castle? Yeah, usually yes. Okay, we'll send a scout in first, because he has bigger vision. Okay, that would be a good spot for a tower. He will take uh, the stone and the gold. That's the stone wall. <laughs> what? That's the stone wall. <laughs> <laughs> it looked like a tower to me. <laughs> Which F, one? F, F. F in chat. F. <laughs> there we go. Yeah, that's true. Uh, he's building his own tower there. Let's pull back. Pull back from that tower. Do it. Pull back from your no. tower. Yeah, delete cancel that. It? Yeah, cancel it. And we build a little bit further down the tower, so it's out of range of his tower. The tower will have eight range. So that, that should be fine, yes. Right. Uh, he also has a seed workshop now, which means he could make a mangonel, he could make a scorpion. So maybe put the arches on staggered formation. It's a good time to use the formation things, indeed. And in this game, they react to formations right away. Okay, at home, our macro is slipping a little bit. We are obviously it's a bit intense. The three idle wheels and the bears can go on gold. Okay. Can I put them in the tower? Yeah, you want to garrison the tower. Um, there was something that killed your a few of your archers here. I don't know exactly what he made, but you did destroy it. With I think it was a scorpion, probably. So it was a, it was fine in the end. Good thing now is you're denying his gold and stone. Am I? Okay. Yeah, because in this map you only have one gold and one stone inside your base. Should I go check whether he's going yes. somewhere else? That's exactly what I was about to suggest. Cool. Yeah, we don't need the armor upgrade right now, because we rather want to push uh, Castle Age. Oh, there's a mangonel. Okay, nice. We don't want to stay in the area there, because the mangonel do quite serious damage to uh, the archers. You can try to click the villager behind. There is a chance the mangonel is blocking the hits. Okay, you're good. He's here. Oh, he's, yeah. he's picking another stone. Yeah, perfect, then. We go with the archers there. You want to pay attention to the forward because the tower might go down against. Oh, he's not. Oh, he doesn't have gold to repair. Perfect. That's a really good trade for you then. Okay, there's a ram there. We want to release our villagers and attack that villagers because the ram is too tanky regarding archers. The archers should still go to the stone mine on top. Yes. Okay, we want to repair the tower a bit, and now it's a good time to start taking some stone at home as well. Oh, that's a town center. If we deny that, the game is pretty much won. Oh, unlucky, unlucky. Too bad. I was too late. I should have gone right away. You right. want me to do what now? Stone? And now we uh, put some wheels on stone, and now we just go to Castle Asia itself. Those four villagers enough. can also... You have gold around his base. You can just build a mining camp on his gold, for example. And put archers inside the tower. Mining camp on his base. Like the gold right next to your arches there. So your villages are not idle when they're forward. Oh. You can start taking these resources. Okay. And uh, to compensate, you can put five of the arches inside the tower. So you have the extra arrow fire while the villages are out. Yeah, good. Okay. Nice. Keep clicking, it will happen one time. <laughs> <laughs> All right, cool, cool. We're still in a very good spot. You, yeah, you made it really awkward for him, right? He has lost villagers, he has invested into defense. Very likely that he has skipped on eco upgrades now as well. And you 
Like he cannot, could not take the main gold of his right now. Right now it's very unlikely that he has gold access besides trading in the market. Mm. Which means that it's harder for him to also get uh, military out on the field. So you can drop a stable or two forward now as well. Because his only stable. Yes. His only counter to your archer units right now would be siege. And that will be countered by stables. So potentially knights. Or your own siege as well in castage. Probably you want to do both. We're going to play very aggressive this game and just count on killing him without adding too much economy. Okay. Since he has heavy on stone as well, there is a chance that he will just try to get a castle up. We don't want to do this with few ledge archers because, generally speaking, you won't get kills. And the town center kills your archers very fast in range. Uh, oh, but I was keeping him busy. Yeah, but it, it's not worth it. <laughs> Only when you're in castage, because then you will have crossbows and bodkin arrow, which means you out outrange the town center. Okay. Do I start making a hor uh, horses? Uh, no, no. We want to make the gold units. Oh. So the knights upon hitting castage. We also want to make a forward sea workshop. Uh, a lot of tasks here. We want to get uh, that will be accessible in castage. Mm -hmm. This one, nice. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And we also want to get upgrades for our existing army, which will be a crossbowman and a botkin arrow. Bot indeed. Botkin? Mm -hmm. Correct. Yep, good. And now you can start being a bit more active with those units once the upgrades come in, because now you outrange the town center. So you can go and poke at his stone. I outrange the town center now? Yep. Cool. You want to make mangonels? Yep. You could make rams as well if you want to take out buildings more, but mangonels is more of a threat to like enemy villagers, for example, as well. Yeah, you cannot cycle like this. They have to be on different control groups. Yeah. I know it's confusing for coming from other games. I was pressing tab. Yeah, yeah I know. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So our crossbows can go now and kind of idle that stone because you can sit outside, out range, outside of the range of his town center and idle his. Uh, this stone. We can just uh, try to get armor upgrade now for our cavalry as well. This is where the stand ground hotkey is very convenient. What's that sound? Yeah, it is the attack notification. The Am I being attacked? You were, but uh, not anymore. The mangonel is uh, also outranging the town center, so you could put the mangonel on his town center as well. This is also a point where you could start adding town centers yourself if you want to add a macro economy behind it. You're also in a situation where a full economic, uh, full military push could also kill him. Safer options are more often than not though to add the town center behind. So now you're in the decision making where you want to decide just how you want to approach this. Okay, he's trying to build a defensive tower. You guys can also start attacking on the bottom side. Uh, knights do tank tower fire pretty nicely, so you could attack the house on the bottom left where you broke the first gate. Yeah. Try to get in there. They won't take too much damage from an ungarrisoned tower. So he has made some light cav. You're, you have, he doesn't have any upgrades, so you can micro this. Uh. You also have access to the to camels in the stable, which is a counter unit to the to cavalry. Wait, we're broken through. Mm -hmm. So we have the second town center there, but so we can still run in and see what we can get done. And if we don't find any good damage, we can just run out again. Right now, he's very likely busy microing on the top. That's massive damage. He even has four town centers. Or he has four town centers. Yes, he's booming oh like God. a madman. But what right a guy. now he's losing a lot. His hero stone count is building up as well, so you can could consider a four castle at some point. Oh, GG. Uh, wait. Oh, GG. Should I exit? Uh, you can, but that will be in a custom lava then most likely. They're adding a rematch function to the game. I don't think it's there uh, yet, yeah. so. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Making friends left and right. Nice.
shouldn't I have got knight upgrades? Yes. Like um, for sure. cavalry get armor. Yeah, armor would have helped. Armor especially helps against arrow fire. So when you want to go Man. in for raids like this, they are like under town centers and towers. We want to always have the armor upgrade. How much uh, damage do town centers do per shot? I think it's five. And I have two armor only. Yeah, you have two armor only, yeah, and the town center has five. But and the town center shoots. I'm not sure how many arrows it will shoot at the one. Uh, if you click return to map, uh, you can see it has five attack, and it's shooting two extra arrows right now. The extra arrows are in the parentheses behind. Uh, why uh, two? Is it because he has two units inside? Yeah, he doesn't have enough villagers inside. It will get more the more units are garrisoned. But yeah, just to explain this game, how this worked out right now. He was going for, yep. since he's starting pre-walled, like I said, a uh, normal strategy is just to go fast castle, add town centers and play like for the long game. Uh, a way to potentially counter that is what you did right now, which is just go full aggression and just make it awkward for him to defend. Now to explain why it was hard for him to defend, your first uh, aggression came on the bottom gate, right? Yeah. So he reacted preemptively with his own defensive tower. Now you, right. can, you can only afford one tower before taking stone yourself or mining extra stone. So when he did that tower, it means that he very likely could not afford a second tower. So mm -hmm. when you just moved up to the top side, he was in a situation where maybe he used the market to buy stone or he just was in time to mine the extra stone to make another tower. But Wouldn't he have stone gathering anyway, considering he's trying to multi TC boom? Uh, you don't need stone in theory to add town centers because you start with 200 stone. And how much does it cost? 100 stone for a town center and 275 oh. wood. And how much uh, does a tower cost? 125 stone and 50 wood. So and it's 100 stone for a TC. Correct. But yeah, once he made that tower, you can just choose a different angle to attack. And in this game, a little bit lucky that his gold and stone was on the same spot. So your tower effectively disabled him from making any military units That's without stone. using the market. Right. Options, we could try and play a 2v2, or you can jump on a ranked again and have another go at the... Possibly Arabia. Or I could watch you play a ranked game. That's also an option. Yeah, I'll, I'll watch one. Okay. 